Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give, give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, I can push in this word sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. This is going to be a quick lesson, probably one and done. And uh, hey, this the times we're living in of the MOTB and the implementation of that, uh, that microchip uh, is on its way. All right. The future is cashless. Now, this is from Yahoo uh, via Reuters. It says a Cuba as Cuba takes leap towards cashless economy. The entrepreneurs brace for impact. All right. It says uh, when Cuba in early August announced it was taking a major step towards electronic banking in a cashless society, the offices of fledgling small businesses across the uh, communist run country were left scrambling to figure out how to respond. Most alarming to many budding entrepreneurs was a new 5,000 peso, which is $20, uh, you know, in the USD daily cap on cash withdrawals for businesses. Uh, one of several uh, measures the government said were aimed at forcing Cubans to do their transactions electronically via transfer, online payments and bank cards. Right. So they put uh, cash restrictions, not just in Cuba, but I think they did it in the Bahamas and some other island countries, primarily where Jake is at. What you got to understand is that our people are going to be uh, test subjects a uh, for this new uh, cashless society, which is going to be that implantable chip. All right. The, this is just the, uh, you know, uh, the beginning moments of that, but this is where everything is heading. All right. You have the CBDC, uh, many countries are going to go to, which stands for central bank digital currency. All right. And then they're banning cash everywhere. That why, that's why you see these banks now paying <laughs> fucking five, 6% interest rates for you to deposit cash in their banks because they don't have any cash man so this thing is all on the brink of collapse the money's not really there and uh higher uh interest rates get jacked up you're gonna see more and more bank failures because they can't produce that money it says the changes were needed to stem a cash shortage cuban uh central bank officials said as the fast falling peso and soaring consumer prices uh combined to drain bank reserves and ATM machines. All right, you see that? Because the money's not really there, man. All right? You know how the Federal Reserve System works and uh, fractional reserve banking. Look that up. Uh, you understand? You, you will see what I'm talking about. It's all smoke and mirrors. It says the demand for cash was growing faster than what we could provide to our bank branches, said Alberto uh, Quinones. Vice President of Cuba's Central Bank. All right. The changes are being rolled out gradually over the next six months, officials say. So, you know, things is going to get real, uh, <laughs> real in the field, as they say out here, uh, not just in Cuba, but all over all over the world. Because you got to understand the prophecy I'm going to read uh, in Revelation is a prophecy for the world. OK, not just America, not just uh, the UK or Western, you know, Western powers. It's for, uh, you know, the world uh, combined. So I'm going to go right into it. This is Revelation chapter 13 uh, and 16. It says, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. We have broken this down uh, many times. All right. Dealing with that mark. Dealing with what it's going to be. An actual implantable chip. An incision. When you really go into those words in the in the hand. You're going to have an implant in there. All right. They're going to move past the bank cards. They're going to move past the cell phones. And it's going to be actually on you. Uh, to force you to have to have it. To buy and sell, but it's going to be used for identification and also for uh, tracking purposes. You see, so let's uh, let's go back. Let's jump down. See if there's anything else. Uh, 
But yeah, this thing is this thing is coming fast, and it's gonna be here sooner uh, than than you think, man. Because uh, a lot of brothers have been reporting on uh, new restrictions coming back with the new variants, right? I did a video, the elder here in Chicago, Elder Malcolm, I did a video uh, dealing with um, Alex Jones talking about his <laughs> his high level sources and all that shit, uh, saying that they're gonna roll this this thing back out. But they, they know what they're doing because this is this is going to truly collapse an already fragile world economy to bring in what? A new system. So if this if this happens, if it's true, right? Uh, he gave the time around uh, October, November, December, going into the winter, that it's these restrictions and shutdowns and lockdowns are going to come back. And if it's true, uh, this new system is going to come right behind it, man. In Cuba, they said they're going to be rolling it, rolling it out over the next six months, man. All right, over the next six months. Uh, but let's uh, let's check this out. I put it in cashless society or just cashless, and you get what? You get a whole bunch of uh, different articles pop up when you put that into Google. It talks about Cuba. It says W uh, WVU athletic venues to begin transition to cashless transactions. Mastercard team to promote cashless spend. Uh, Shenandoah going cashless for all sporting events, right? Somewhere overseas, high school football game, cashless. This is in Wisconsin. Uh, Kardashians' favorite salad chain, Health Nut, goes cashless. Uh, foreigners' visit to China can finally go <laughs> cashless. So, yeah, backlash grows over banks push to turn Australia into cash society. It's branches closed and more restrictions, right? So this is, this is a big idea. This is a big, big, you know, uh, big idea. This is a, this is a new world order, so to speak. To quote George Bush, this thing is going to affect uh, everyone and everybody all over the globe because a hey, this prophecy is dealing with everybody over the globe, right? For the ones that take this thing, and I'm, I'm speaking to the Israelites right now, who have been scattered to the four corners of the earth. To you Israelites, if you take this thing, there's no repenting, there's no coming back uh, from it, so you can understand. This is from Daily Mail. Commonwealth Bank introduces new transfer restrictions. See, all these things about restrictions after rolling out cashless uh, branches. No money in the system. So if, if you go to try to get your money out, it's not there, man. This is what they're doing. They're getting ready to do uh, bail-ins where money will be m missing from the depositors. All right. And they're going to transition into a new system. But I just want to touch on that uh, article dealing with uh, Cuba as they go cashless. But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praises and honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom the next time.